Welcome to our training module, Loading Your Rise 1 3D Printer. In this video, we'll show you how to load your Rise 3D Printer with filament and ink. Before we start, let's familiarize you with your Rise 1 3D Printer. Starting at the left, this is where the spools of filament and the filament waste bucket go. Moving to the middle, this is where the build plate goes, and it's where the parts are built. On the right is where the ink cartridges and waste tray go. Okay, let's load the printer with filament and ink. First, open the box of spool filament and take the spool out of the box. There's an axle and a filament key. The key tells us which filament we're using and helps the machine print properly with that filament spool. It's shrink wrapped to prevent it from unraveling. You don't want it to unravel before you put it in the machine. Unwrap the shrink wrap while holding onto the filament key to keep the filament from unraveling. Then hold the filament key with one hand and slide the spool into the right housing of the machine with your other hand. It will just roll down the ramp. Insert the filament key into the machine. There's only one way it can go. Once that's done, the machine will do the rest. Your Rise 1 3D printer comes with one spool, but if you've ordered more than one spool, you just repeat this step with a second spool. The printer automatically changes from one spool to the next when filament runs out. As the current spool gets low on filament, you'll want to put in another spool so it will be ready to use when you need it. Once your machine hot swaps from one spool to the other, you need to remove the empty spool and the filament key. Don't forget to remove the filament key. After that, pull out the filament waste bucket and empty it. All the filament waste is recyclable. Put the filament waste bucket back in and push it all the way to the back, then close the door. Now we'll show you how to install the build plate. This is a plate made from plastic that's compatible with our filament, so the filament will stick to the build plate well. It's held in the machine by magnets, and there are a couple of slots in the back to register into the machine. Put the build plate on the build platform and let the magnet just pull it down. Once the plate is flat on the build platform, just push it towards the back and the pins in the machine will slide into the groove on the build plate. There are pins in the machine and there are grooves on the plate. Then just close the build door. Next we'll show you how to install the ink cartridges. You should have two ink cartridges, one for release ink and one for marking ink. Release ink makes it quick and easy for you to remove supports from your part, and marking ink enables you to place text and images on your parts. First, open the door to the ink cartridge housing. You'll see green and purple colors in the area of the ink cartridge slots. Match up the color and make sure to have this side up arrow pointed upward. Align the cartridge with the color code on the machine and slide the cartridge into the slot until it clicks. Next, we'll install the ink waste tray. When the printer maintains the printhead, it develops a small amount of ink waste which drains into the waste tray. Make sure the arrow of the waste tray is pointed towards the back of the machine. Slide it in until it clicks. That's it. Now your Rise 1 3D printer is ready to use. 